Hey guys, Fabrigated here, and if you're anything like me, you like room decorations that are cheap, colorful, and handmade. I'm going to show you a project that fits all three of those criteria with vinyl records. It's a pretty simple project, but it takes about two days because of how long acrylic takes to dry. Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoy the video. So the materials that you need for your project include acrylic paints. However, keep in mind that it may take several layers to achieve the opacity that you want. I recommend having a variety of brush sizes at hand. I'm going to be using scotch tape to hold my stencil down. Optionally, you can have Mod Podge, mine's glossy. I have my stencil, and of course, most importantly, the vinyl record. Let's get going. For this tutorial, I'll be using red. I laid down a large sheet of paper before working to avoid staining my desk. I started by just dumping the acrylic onto the vinyl and spreading it out as evenly as possible for the first layer. Don't be discouraged if it's not opaque. You can always wait for it to dry and add another layer. Hey guys, I'm back, and I'm really frustrated with this paint. This is like the fifth layer. I'm just going to spread the paint as evenly as possible again, making sure that I get the edges. This seems like the last layer, so I'm going to end it by spreading the paint in a circle to get a similar texture of a record. I securely taped a stencil over a white record. I'm going to be doing a gradient from red, yellow to blue. Make sure not to pour out too much yellow paint like I just did. So I'm going to be starting out by spreading my red paint out in a circle with my smallest brush. I then moved on to yellow with my medium sized brush, spreading around the red. I used my red brush again to make an orange tone by blending them. Using my biggest brush, I spread out the blue paint on the outer edge of the stencil. I blended the yellow and the blue together with this brush. So once you peel it off, you're going to reveal the most beautiful thing in existence. Oh my god, look what you just made me do. It's so beautiful. Using my glossy finished Mod Podge, I covered the vinyl with one layer. I gave it about 20 minutes to dry completely and boom, we're done. It's time for the big reveal of the final product. 